Hey guys, what is up? My name is Rusty from the Fin FM, and welcome back to my Football Manager 2016 series called the Finnish Legend. And last time we saw, we were playing Lazio, and we won one 0 a defensive effort, which guaranteed us the three points. And in that game, I told you that no matter what, we're gonna see in the cup team cup final for this year and we are facing juventus and that day has now arrived and but uh, let us see how we have done in the league since that game and i have to tell you guys uh, a couple of episodes ago i was talking about this lump right here and i was a bit worried about because the end of the season was nearing and i didn't want it, my team to paralyze at the end of the season and possibly lose the euro spots in syria ah but team responded extremely extremely well and as you can see i have had an amazing amazing end of the season one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen games and thirteen wins which is really really good and lazio game is right there and after lazio we played my favorite team internationale and that was away game we got goals from zeruti and luis morel who come came back from the injury played very good got two goals from those guys but what is most notable is that <laughs> horrid amount of yellow card seven in one game never a good thing then the old lady came to visit us juventus came to luigi ferraris actually really really boring match there wasn't even that much highlights in that game it was just mostly i just watched the stat screen the whole match i uh, got goal from zaruti uh played uh, munian in that game also uh, as you can see not too great on the offensive department but defense was really good as always and has been for me this season which i'm very 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 pleased and before this game it was already clear that juventus had won the league and actually that's i think it was the twice uh second title in a row for juventus so we don't we didn't have that much put in that game obviously i wanted to win uh, juventus and we eventually won the both games this season against juventus both with a score one nil um really good um and after juventus game we met ac cicina just to try to get the season out of the way got goal from Beditez and luis muriel and eder got a injury in his head and but we will see Eder today. The injury wasn't that bad because there was a international break in between those two games. So I was able to get my guys in good condition and stuff like that. Really not much to say about the Cecina game. Uh, quite good effort. I mean, I switched a lot of players in this game and the subs or the second options or rotation options, whatever you want to call them played really well i was really happy about that especially happy with sasa lukic because he hasn't been producing good results recently when i played him so i was really happy about that so what what does it do for us in the league and let's go see i give you the bigger view we have managed to retain a position the second in the Serie A of this season and I'm really really pleased about this actually what I thought before I started making this video what I thought is that I'm really happy with the season really happy with the players and the cup final is just bonus obviously I want to win it but it's not gonna you know ruin my world if Juventus gets the cup I mean this it's so good team but i'm so happy with the results and with the th how we played this season uh in this uh, league um uh, kind of went back uh to my you know original ways or my old ways or whatever you want to call it uh 
if you are watch this series i played with coops uh, i played with uh, attacking midfielder in the center i was using really really high pressing uh, tactics uh, i came to sampdoria and i really really wanted to have that defensive midfielder back in my lineup and but i didn't want to lose any of the other pos positions i made for that coops tactics so i went back to defensive midfielder play and lost the amc for now, we don't see what the next season will hold us, but at the moment, I'm really happy with the tactic I used. And yeah, I I will post a blog uh, about the season in review after this match. And in that review, I have also my tactic, which I used for this season. I will put it there in detail so you guys can check it out and see if it's any good perhaps for you to actually have some good things about it or whatnot but we will see but let's look at the table so juventus winning the league with 78 points um we were second with 76 so only two points behind of juventus and then came sassuolo getting the champions league spot also with 67 empoli 67 going to Europa League and Internazionale with 66 going to Europa League and Milan got the other Champions League spot there and if you look at the relegation portion of the table Verona, Udinese and Livorno are going to Serie B for the next season it wasn't even that uh, close of a battle at some point Verona and Calcio and Bologna were in the mix that who's gonna take the last spot but uh, for Udinese and Livorno it, it has been a really clear cut for a long long time and especially hard felt into for Udinese because um, I think their team if you if you go and look at the team uh, it's it's it looks like a team and the quality of the team kind of implies that it, it shouldn't be there but that's that's football and <laughs> really really horrid form for the last five games for Udinese if we look at our team for the season and I'm just gonna go over a couple of things before we go to the cup match because this is gonna be the last video for the season two and we we the next video is gonna come out when the season three is starting so might as well go over some details but everything about this team and everything else is going to be in that season review blog which i'm posting hopefully in the next couple of days but yeah the ongoing battle with my right wing back position or full back position has been ever present the whole uh, time since i got figueras um both guys are playing really really well figueras and ricardo van rin and as i've told you before if i can keep these both both guys happy are probably gonna start with these two guys the next season also so that side is pretty good uh regini and Birachi on the left back position uh, it's pretty clear card Birachi at the moment so it's this good possibility that regini is going to be moved out in the off season we will see that uh Blombo has proved me wrong i really don't like uh old players that much and I really really hope that today's game against Juventus is in Angelo Balombo's last game and I don't mean last game in Sampdoria I mean it would be his last game and he would retire because he's been asking me a new contract and he is asking uh, the, sum, the amounts of money I'm not prepared to actually the issue is his contract I mean I can't make him to drop out a if he plays a certain amount of games he gets like the extension I can't get him to drop out that clause from the contract and I really really don't want to uh, commit myself to a player Balombo is really good at the moment but still uh, 35 uh, almost as old as my wife really not happy and comfortable playing huge amounts of money to a guy of that age so what that's why i'm really hoping that he retires after this game and i can you know give him a contract to come as a coach for my u team which would, would i would really love but if that's it's the case he just needs to move somewhere else to play the remainder of his career 
Other than that, uh, Agulani is solid in the middle. Uh, I've been using a lot of Mihail Ristich on his place because I'm trying to do the transition that for the next season, Ristich would be the man on that position. So yeah, uh, Zeruti at the right wing is taking over and Benitez probably needs to leave because he's, he's actually a good player but I don't like his persona and he's complaining a lot and you can see he's very poor even though I play him uh, he's not happy so he probably need to move because he can't he can't suppress Zeruti at this point uh, Zeruti actually got his first call for Italian national team at the age of 25 uh, so his things are looking good for Zeruti Jonas Hoffman uh, Injured a lot, but when he has been able to play, has been really good. So yeah, and Eder, obviously my striker at the moment. And uh, yeah, my team is basically really healthy, which is good. I and mean, Arkadius Milik is also uh, back from the injury. So things are looking good in Juventus game. And hopefully we get good result against Juventus. I mean, it's not the, like I said, it's not the end of the world if you lose to Juventus. But I really, really would like to win. It would be amazing to get Silverware in the first season with Sampdoria, but I think we're already, um, you know, made our mark to the Serie A and made our mark to the Europe with, with the, you know, this season. So I'm pretty happy. But yeah, could be fun uh, to have Silverware. So without those, you know, babblings and ramblings and whatnot, uh, let's just go into the game and see how we do against amazingly good Juventus team in the Tim. Cup final. Here we are, guys, at the match preview screen. And the match is played on the Stadio Olimpico at Rome. Weather is 14 degrees, uh, pretty good weather. 19,000 tickets sold. I'm not sure if it's the tickets we sold or sold in all, which would be a bit funny because this is a Italian Cup final, but we don't know. The referee selection is a bit odd. Uh, Giuseppe Fantaggio has only refereed seven games this season. Pretty low amount of those. Uh, 15 yellow cards, no red cards in that game. Obviously, you have to look at my ugly face where you could look uh, Antonio Conte down in, in the left. But yeah, Antonio Conte is the Juventus manager, been there for 300 days, roughly. Really, really good manager. I think he came back from Chelsea or uh, didn't go to Chelsea in the say when I started. But uh, he was a Italian manager when I started and he's now with Juventus. I think that's place where he calls it home. They got a couple of uh, really bad injuries on the Juventus side, mostly Paul Bogba is out and also uh, Lichtensteiner is out, so they're playing the Silvestri in his place. And But yeah, really, really, really tough team. Uh, Dybala, great season, is one of the, I think was like second or third in goal scoring department this season so really really a lot of to worry about on that team but uh, let's go see our starting lineups starting lineups for today's game and juventus is the home team in this tie and they are playing with 5-1-2-2 defensive midfielder wing back which looks really defensive and really italian to be honest but they're Choosing to go with that. And Ruli is their goalie. And Cellini, Bonucci, Rugani is the defensive three. Sami Kedeira is their defensive midfielder. And Sandro and De Silvestri, our former player, are the wingbacks. Diaco and Claudio Marchisio are their midfield center guys. And Dybala and Vela are the sole strikers playing in the line on top. And our team Viviano at goal, Mirachi, Manolas, Lopez and Figueros on the back four. Balombo is a defensive midfielder, Krisitic and Aguilani. I chose Aguilani. I want some experience in this match. I chose Aguilani to start at the center midfielder. And Jonas Hoffman and Zeruti are my attacking midfielders and Eder is my sole striker. Using my Quattro Supremo tactic for this game, Masi, Benitez, Delaney, Van Rien, Lukic, Muriel, Ristich, Munian, Milek, Alvarez, Minya, and Vasco Reggini 
are my subs and let's go see some potion instructions here we are and i'm gonna do i'm gonna just put everything i got on polo dibala i really don't want him to score i'm gonna type mark carlos vela i'm putting on his weaker foot and i'm going to go and close down tiago and claudio marquisio i'm gonna go hard on tiago Mm, closing down these wing backs is what, what I want to do also. Uh, I'm not sure of do I want to do anything for uh, about Sami Khedira. Uh, I think we're gonna just let it sit at the moment, see how the pl uh, play progresses and what we see on the pitch. But this is the stuff we want to do and Let's have some, uh, some team talk. Uh, Steen is saying to the players that if they play like they did last time, oh, the trophy is ours. I need to consider of that. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, you deserve the winning trophy. I spent you winning. Yeah. Uh, win this trophy for yourselves, but also for the fans. Everyone deserves success. I see, I'll go with that. And I'll also, what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I'm gonna drop down these. I don't do these uh, that much, but it is a huge game and I want to have everything in my power so these guys could win. And let us just go and start the match. Balombo, Figueras, and Figueras runs with the ball, passes front and really takes the ball. Uh -huh. Alexandro to Chiellini plays to Rulli. Rulli passes it long to Vela. Vela with the ball. Dibala goes through Dibala. Dibala and oof, that was a close one. He just went through defender like nothing there. Uh, Figueres offside. Uh, somebody is getting a warning. And hopefully it's not the same. That it's just a lot of highlights. Kadir getting a red guard. Aguilani with a corner that is headed away. Sandro with the ball. Switches to De Silvestri, still going, still going, still... Agulani gets the ball, Zeruti, Krisitic, Jonas Hoffman, back to Agulani, plays it to Eder, but he's too slow to get there. Marquisio plays it, Dybala, Dybala, Viviano able to get fingers, man, you know, in that, and guys just cleared it out, wow, this is coast to coast at the moment, guys. Cup final and no cards yet. The only one for Kitty. Kielina with a strong, strong and long throw. Rugani with the ball trying to pass it to Bonucci, to Marquisio, to Alexandro with the ball. And he plays it to Dybala, but guys are able to block it for corner. And Diaco with a corner cleared away. Cellini. Tiago and Zeruti gets the ball away. Sandro back to Gellini, to Guerrera, to Marquisio, to Vela. Vela is in there. And that was in the post by Dybala. <laughs> Gellini with the throw. And Aguilani tried to reach for the ball, but he just don't have the pace. Bonucci, De Silvestri. What's he gonna do? The guys are pressing. Chrisitis gets the ball. Zeruti plays it to Jonas Hoffman. But he loses ball. Still, Hoffman, what's he gonna do? He's gonna shoot. And Rui gets the save. Agulani with a corner and Zeruti with header, but save, save by Ruli. And we are looking stats again. Agulani getting a yellow card there. Zeruti was offside. And the Silvestri gets a yellow card. Looks uh, This game looks a lot like the game we played on Juventus last time, which ended 1-0. Figueres getting a yellow card. Wow. So, halftime. Um, <clears throat> let's look at the stats and shots 7 3 on target, both two off target, three one blocked shots, uh, two clear cut chances, three against R1 and possession is 58 to R42. So we're really in the in the bad spot here, five corners against two, and we are falling a lot. A pass is completely seven. Now we only got 70 passes. Tag. I mean, every, in every category, human is, is, is just stomping on us. So we need to 
see what we can do. Giellini is doing a lot of good passing and also Claudio Marquisio is doing a lot of good passing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go there and close these guys down uh, and Marquisio is not getting enough attention. We're going to tight mark him. We're going to tight mark Thiago also. We're going to tackle. I'm not sure if I want to tackle any harder because uh, Actually, you guys already have yellow cards. I might need to take these off. But the thing is that mm, Eder is not playing well. Jonas Hoffman is not playing well. Zeruti is not playing well. Aguilani is not playing well. So Juventus is defending extremely well. And I can't find, find ways to get there. So I won't do anything in the second half yet. It's hard, but I really think I probably might need to do something we're doing so far. Yeah, we can still come out of this, guys. But I'm really, really thinking what I should do. Hmm. I'm not getting any, any, basically any attempts on the goal at all. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna still gonna go with this. So Guerrero, Marquisio, Thiago, Bracci gets that. Or again, Bracci, Bracci to Agulani. End of highlight. The Silvestri with a throw. Agulani to the ball. Krisitic to Eder. Palombo with the ball. Place it to Figueras. What's he gonna do? Place it to Zaruti to Agulani. To Palombo, to Kristic, to Eder, and he hits the post, and that is offside. Ooh, that was close. Okay, Kerira almost get a second card, and corner from, um, I, I, I didn't notice that. Um, I need to, to look at the stats. Paulo Dybala is offside. Chiellini with another long draw, and Lissandro just clears that away. Wella still with the ball. Alexandro with a shot, but that is wide from far corner. 61st minute. I might want to start doing some changes here and see what we're going to do. Eder is not playing well. Jonas Hoffman is not playing well, so this is a bad spot. I'm going to bring in Ar Arkadius Melek to play in that complete forward position. Nenad Krisidic is not playing well either. What are we going to do, guys? <clears throat> I don't want to start doing that just yet. It's nil nil still. And um, Balombo is gonna get a card. And Juventus did a substitution also, but we can't touch that yet. Now we can. And obviously, I'm so excited about this game that I didn't even notice to, you know, put the screen on on larger uh, resolution, but yeah, we're just gonna have to do with that. And it goes down Roberto Pereira, uh, tight, tight mark him all also, and go with that. Wow. It's intense, intense moments. We're living here, 65th minute of Italian Cup Final. Sampdoria versus Juventus and Bracci is getting a card and they are making another substitution. Litsteiner is in that sort of condition that he can play actually in this game and they made that substitution. I'm just gonna look what to do with my guys. I'm gonna go to target opposition instructions. I'm gonna take out Litsteiner, a great, great player. Litsteiner, put him on his left foot and go to advanced tactics because I got Alberto Agulani who is dead tired. I need to take Ristic on his place and obviously I need to take out Jonas Hoffman. Um, gonna put Benny Tetz on the field and switch sides with these two guys and see what that does for us. It's the last 17 minutes of the game. So we are in a fight. Come on, man. What's he gonna do? Uh, I don't think Penny is he's gonna take anything from me. Actually, he hates me. I, I, I'm betting he hates me. Dybala offside. Corner with Dybala. And Viviano takes the ball. End of highlight there. Uh, Litsteiner with a throw. Azamoa to Pereira. Litsteiner to Vela. 
what he's gonna cross and Manuel with a good good intercept and Zeruti with the ball plays it to Milik Milik with the ball plays it to Benitez back to Milik and shot and that is blocked for a corner wow Ristic with a corner Benitez with the ball what's he gonna do plays it back to the corner yay nice nice stuff guys and some of the guys are just really tired 88th minute 89th minute Milik's getting a yellow card there really intense stuff is this match going to go to the extra time Zeruti takes a card and yeah it's extra time wow what a game it's tight I mean not that much highlights couple really really good uh, scoring chances for both teams and as usual my offensive core is not doing anything basically they just can't do it but uh, Steen thinks the performance has been excellent. We should tell the team how pleased we are. Uh, let's do that and maybe it gets some more fire out of these guys. Start extra time. Milik, Palombo, Baracci, Steel Baracci, Zeruti, and Litzteiner with a foul and Zeruti with a freaky. Just plat Okay, that's the end of the highlight, obviously. Couldn't be too much of a scoring chance for us. Lichsteiner to Rugani, to Lichsteiner, to Vela, to Lichsteiner. Passes Dybala, Alexandro, Azamoa, to Lichsteiner. And that shot is blocked. Zeruti plays it to Milik. Milik can't get the ball forward. Rugani plays it to Lichsteiner. Still Lichsteiner to Vela. And Viviano is able to smother the ball. To Manolas and end of highlight. Chiellini, that's the troll. Milik just clears it away. Mela, well off with the shot and that is blocked. We are quite under the pressure at the moment. Palondo to Ristic to Zeruti. And Lichsteiner just takes the ball away. Dybala to Lichsteiner to Vela. Sami Guerrero with a shot, but that is well, well wide. And Palombo with a free kick and that is way over the bar. Ruli with a goal gate. Kellini to Sandro. Plays it to Dybala. Pereira. Plays it to Lista Novella. Shot is blocked. Alexander to Pereira. To Asamoa. And he scores right in front of the goal. I mean, that should have been coming. They were just... They were just coming with a force all the time the whole Juventus team my defense is playing extremely well but I am falling behind with my offense at the moment and that is just the case here I can't I can't do any more of that I'm just not gonna work the uh, any more um, kind of goal direct passing higher tempo uh, yeah, mixed crosses. Uh, I'm not going to even try to retain possession. I'm just going to go very, very fast. Try to go to their side. And that's the only thing I can do actually anymore. Wow, what a game. I mean, Pereira, and that might have been an offside, but... Ref is not uh, going to raise the flag, so that's a good goal. Let's see what happens. Witstar getting a yellow card, and obviously they're gonna just you know waste all the time they can. Dybala, Pereira, Benitez gets the ball. Still Benitez, what's he gonna do? Don't lose the ball, man. And Asamoa with a tackle. And Zikelini with a throw. Benitez heads it away. Wella. Still Wella. Still Wella. Litsteiner. Vela. Litsteiner. And Viviano with a save. Manolas. Dybala is offside. And we are... Not have that much time to actually do anything. And Manolas takes a card. And Benitez with a ball. But that is taken away from him. Alexandro plays it to Dybala. Dybala is going and he shoots and that is well wide again. And they are just for wasting time. Benitez tries to shoot from the range. Again, he tries to figure out place to Palombo. But Ezequiel Agresuti is offside. Ruli with a goal kick. Chiellini, Asamoa, Pereira. 
plays it through, but Figueras gets the ball. Viviano, Lissandro, we're already at extra time of extra time, and Juventus is just showing its strength. Uh, we can't get anything done, even though we are trying to attack. Our guys are too tired, and Vela. Wella just makes the game and kills the game for Juventus. I mean, good defensive effort, but if you start to look at the stats, I mean, two shots on target, and I tried to attack at the later part of the game, but it is just not happening. And as always, which has been the demise in games that I've lost this season, you start to look at the guys that are supposed to produce your attacking force. Eder, Jonas Hoffman, um, Benitez, Melek didn't do anything. So, what can you say? Uh, I'll just, you know, take at least a good mood of the game and. But yeah, I'm kind of disappointed. I mean, it was really tight game at the first half, and and then uh, and look at the defense: seven point seven, seven point two, seven point three, seven point nine, and after that, it's just they just. I mean, obviously, they got like really, really tight defense and stuff like that. I probably should have gone gone to the wings more or just played more straight uh, than challenge their defenders, but that's not the really style I'm comfortable of playing with. So, yeah, we lost um, the cup final, but like I said for this uh, video, uh, but at the end of the start of this video, that I'm really pleased with the season. Even still, I mean, 19 interceptions, that's pretty good. But we just lost to a way better team that we already had beaten two times this year. So it might have been overdue yet, but who knows. If you look back at, back at the game, I mean, 2 nil to Juventus, we already played them twice this season, won both. Uh, we're second in the league with, not, uh, with a team that wasn't predicted to be that high. So you can't be... Can't be too heartfelt of the result. Juventus is still is a very, very, very good team compared to. I mean, my team played an awesome season, but it's. I think it was the quality that actually, you know, was the decisive factor in this game. And good luck and congratulations, Juventus. They doing double or triple or whatever they doing with this victory. But I'm still, still very very pleased with the season obviously you felt feel a bit heartfelt because you got the chance to get the cup but uh it, it wasn't meant to be today and again my offensive uh, core <laughs> didn't produce so what can you say we we lost to a better team let's say and uh that's that uh, that's the season two of uh finnish legend and we see you next time at the start of season three which is out of the preseason Obviously, we don't know where we are yet. Uh, I, I really would like to, you know, continue the Sampdoria, develop it, make it an Italian uh, powerhouse. But the thing is, I have to be honest, if somebody like Inter would come calling, uh, it would be extremely difficult to me to say no. Obviously, that's not going to be the case because Inter already changed their manager at the end of the season. Mancini got the boot and Andre Villas-Poas took his place. So that won't be the case. But yeah, but hopefully we we see each other at Luigi Ferrari at the start of the season of 2017-2018. Uh, I'm going to do a review blog of my season and it's going to be found in rossi.wordpress.com. The link is in the description as always. Go check it out. And there's also some other stuff you should check out about my work. So this is the FinFM. My name is Roosty and I'll catch you guys the next time.